Hey YouTube, I want to talk to you today about the HP Touchpad running Cyogen Mod 3.5 Alpha. Big shout out to the Cyogen team. Uh, this Alpha 3.5 is running excellent. Uh, big improvements, a uh, few glitches, but overall great uh, functionality for this once defunct HP Touchpad uh, sold off in a fire sale. Uh, the WebOS that came with it was slow, it was clunky, it was unpleasant. Uh, now that we're running Android, there's so much we can do so much functionality let's talk about it okay what you see here is uh, the go launcher pro ex uh, this is, allows me to do different themes for my android so i can customize the way i want it right here i'm running the uh, theme for go launcher uh, plate theme and you simply go and you search them in the market and download them there's tons they're free just great in the background i have a live wallpaper you can see I've customized three desktops here. Over here I have news and information. I can see information on my CPU, quick disconnect, reconnect, uh, Wi-Fi toggle with the beautiful widgets, weather, news, main page, uh, lets me organize my task manager. Also, a free widget from the Go Launcher Pro EX. I recommend doing this because it'll help us clear up memory, let us know what's going on. Over here I have my media playback page. We'll get into that a little bit later. All right, let's talk about uh, tips and tweaks. Now, you're going to want to download a program called CPU Master. Okay, CPU Master lets us dynamically change the speed of the CPU. You can clock it up, you can clock it down. Uh, some people overclock it. Uh, I would say that a 1500 megahertz overclock is all right. I have tested it in games. Uh, the temperatures seem okay. I haven't seen any graphic anomalies or any problems in stability. I wouldn't go any further than that, and that is my recommendation. Default would probably be the best on batteries. Anyhow, uh, this CPU master, once we give it permissions, is able to toggle uh, the frequency of the processor up and down. Right now, we're going in between 192 megahertz and 1512 megahertz. Uh, this will give us some massive savings on batteries when we aren't doing a lot, uh, we aren't using a lot of resources, especially if uh, the screen is locked. It will save us quite a bit. In addition to this, we have a related battery program. And Tutu Battery Saver allows us to do three different modes of savings. As you see, I'm gonna clock it up to the third level, go back to CPU Master, and now CPU Master, ooh, hit apply here, will lock the speed at 192 to 864. So it's gonna dynamically lower it and keep it uh, regulated for us and it, it's pretty safe like this I've done some testing I haven't any problems yet uh, please leave any feedback if you have any further information on this I'm doing the on-demand setting but you can also change it a few different ways uh, to undo this we simply go back toggle it down and we're back in a regular saving regular performance mode in addition there is a profile program that allows us to set times, for instance, so we'll be sleeping at night, up during the day, we can turn the screen brightness down, the ringers off, all kinds of information uh, saved through data transfer and that. Now let's take that one step further. Now this gets a little more complicated, but what we want to accomplish is to enable the lock screen and disable the Wi-Fi when we disconnect. So when we lock the screen, Wi-Fi disconnects, when we open it, it goes back on. Now this will save us a lot of battery power. So we're gonna need to go into the settings Cytogen Mod Settings, Tablet Tweaks, and here you'll see Disable Lock Screen. Now it's unselected here, but by default it is selected. You will need to go in and unselect it to do this. And this simply just enables the lock screen. There we go. I hit the sleep button, I wake it up, and I have to slide to unlock and I'm back in. Now what happens when I lock it is my Wi-Fi will disconnect after a few seconds. If I'm real quick, it won't happen, but there will be a slight delay when you come back in. Now, in order to uh, make this happen, you're going to need an additional program called Juice Defender. Now, I've purchased the ultimate version, but there is a free version. Now, what Juice Defender will let us do, go over to the left screen here, we need to select Screen Enable After Lock. Now, this is for the Wi-Fi to disable it when we lock the screen. This will save us a massive amount of battery life. And I found to make it work properly, we need to also force reconnect Wi-Fi. Uh, it didn't work quite properly without it. Once it was done, it worked fine. It also logs, you can see how well it's connecting, disconnecting. 
Uh, now, in addition, I really enjoy this task manager widget at the top because I can cancel stuff that's going on. Now, let's say we want to play a game. It consumes a lot of resources. The more stuff we have going, the slower things are going to go. This is Final Fantasy VII. Uh, in order to run the audio and video properly, I had to rip it into an MDF file from the CDIR. Let's take a little look here. Lots of fun, uh, but very resource consuming. So anytime we run something, a game, we open a lot of you know, web pages, we're going to want to kill the processes after to save on the memory. Let's get out of there. Now you can see I've amassed quite a bit of things here. Now some will come back automatically. Let's kill all the processes and refresh. And we can see we have gained a small amount of memory there. Every bit helps here. Now the programs that I have allowed access almost immediately pop up again, Juice Defender, and more will just keep coming. Now at default, I use about 256 megs. Um, right now I'm at 616 out of 854. Not bad, uh, performance is pretty good like this. Now a few more apps that you'll want to be aware of. Now over here on my media page, you can download for free uh, the Winamp Player, which is nice. You can run a little widget, you can load up all your tunes, and you can just go ahead and play them. Great fun, runs very well. On top of that, video-wise, uh, the XMS Video Player is a big improvement over the default that comes with it. It has touch screen buttons, touch to play, can best be touch to pause, this equation. A volume on the left side, we go. simply Clear. touch and hold, Equals screen brightness on the left side, yes, and toggle distance in the track. Very good, a big improvement on what it comes with. Great software, all for free. Uh, last but not least, the Dolphin Browser. It's very much like a Google Chrome. You can see I can open multiple tabs here along the top by clicking the plus button. Now what I'd like to show you here from my bookmarks on the side, which I simply pull out, is the live wallpapers page. Uh, now these wallpapers are mostly free on this website, and it's what you've seen me running in the background pretty much the whole time. Let's go to the uh, popular category. Uh, they have a rating system. You can just kind of check out what other people have gotten, what's new, what's interesting. Some very interesting stuff. Uh, quite easy to download and install. Let's find something nice. A simple little click. And download will link us to uh, the Google Android market. And it's pretty safe, no problems here. Just a little click, one download and install away and it's that quick and easy. Now on top of this you can download additional themes uh, like unlike or like my own themes. Uh, you can customize it to your own personal taste. A lot can happen here. It's a lot of fun to just kind of get it the way you like it. You can see I've set it up my own way right here. Anyways I hope this has helped you. Uh, this is 3.5a and is running absolutely excellent. Big shout out to the Cryogen mod team. I've been loving this software. I'm going to donate $1. I would recommend everyone else does the same. Uh, we can get this running with ice cream sandwich. It'll be incredible. Anyways, big thanks to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this.